Hi, it's Kerry here. Today we are looking at 13 interesting dinosaurs. I chose these mainly for their colour, claws, detail and of course big teeth. Some amazing dinosaurs, love them all and there is a fun ending. Can you tell me how many velociraptors in today's video? Therizinosaurus lived in the late Cretaceous period. It was 23 feet or 7 meters long and 10 feet or 3 meters tall at the hips. It had huge claws on its long forelimbs that measured up to 28 inches or 70 centimeters long. So it would have been a fearsome sight. A skull has never been found, so there is no definite evidence as to what this clawed beast ate. Since its close relatives are known to be herbivorous, it's likely that Therizinosaurus was too. Its terrible claws were probably used to strip bark from trees, pulling leafy branches towards its mouth or to fend off predators and rivals. They may have also used their claws to destroy ant nests, which would then make it an omnivore. I've put all the names and brands of the dinosaurs in the description below and remember to give a thumbs up if you like dinosaurs. I like all the detail on the top of the skull there. The body sculpt is really nice, claws are magnificent and of course the feathers on the tail look really good. Velociraptor had 80 very sharp curved teeth in a long flat snout. Some of the teeth were over an inch or 2.5 centimeters long. This predator had an S-shaped neck, arms with three fingered clawed hands, long thin legs and four toed clawed feet. Velociraptor's head was about 7 inches or 18 centimeters long. It may have had feathers but not for flying. This is a lovely model. I really like the toe claws there. And really nice coloration. Notice those little red feather tips there. And a really nice head sculpt. Iguanodon was a plant-eating dinosaur that lived during the Cretaceous period. It had a hard conical spike on each thumb that could grow to 6 inches or 15 centimeters along with another four fingers. It had a horny toothless beak and cheek teeth and a rather bulky body. Its tail was flat and stiff. Its legs were much larger than its arms. Its three-toed hind feet had hoof-like claws. It grew to about 30 feet or 9 meters. It could run on two legs or walk on all four. Diabloceratops lived during the late Cretaceous period. It is an extinct genus of Centrosaurian ceratopsian dinosaur that lived in what is now Utah in the United States. Diabloceratops was a medium-sized, moderately built, ground-dwelling, quadrupedal herbivore that could grow up to an estimated 18 feet long. The Spanish word Diablo means devil, a reference to the horns on the neck shield, with the word ceratops meaning horned face. It's a really lovely paint job on that face. Have a look at that. Diabloceratops was built like a typical ceratopsian in that it had a large neck frill made of bone. It had a small horn on the nose and a pair of relatively small horns above the eyes. T-Rex, one of the largest dinosaurs that ever lived. 
Tyrannosaurus rex was a fierce carnivore. Scientists believe this powerful predator could eat up to 500 pounds or 230 kilograms of meat in one bite. Everything about this ferocious predator from its thick heavy skull to its 4 foot long or 1.2 meter long jaw was designed for maximum bone crushing action. I really like the green colour and the red eye and the yellow markings along the tail. It's a really lovely model. Spinosaurus. Recent fossil evidence shows Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur that was able to swim. None of its teeth are serrated and Spinosaurus is thought to have survived mainly on fish including giant coelacanths, sawfish, large lungfish and sharks which lived in the dinosaur's river system. It would also lie submerged in the water and ambush prey with its long sharp crocodilian jaws dragging the prey down under into the water to drown. Eutyrannus is a good example of a tyrannosaur that had feathers. Eutyrannus has a covering of feathers all over its body. The feathers themselves were most likely simple in structure and provided insulation and might have also been used for a display purpose. Feathers initially evolved for insulation, so the development and presence of feathers depends more upon environmental conditions rather than just the size of the dinosaur. Currently Eutyrannus is regarded as being the biggest feathered dinosaur. Notice it has three fingered hands and a high midline crest on top of its snout. Hatsigopteryx lived during the late Cretaceous period. It was a pterosaur of gigantic proportions, standing over 5 metres or 15 feet tall, with a wingspan of at least 10 metres or 30 feet wide. That is massive. This would have made Hatsigopteryx one of the largest flying animals ever known. The strong skull was 3 metres or 9 feet long and amongst the largest of any land animal. The massive lower jaw had a groove that would have allowed it to open wide. It would have been flying the sky 65 million years ago above what is now Europe. When Giganotosaurus was alive, the most common plant eaters in South America were the Titanosaur sauropods. The teeth of Giganotosaurus are flat and serrated to enable it to easily slice through the flesh of its prey. These kinds of teeth are commonly seen in the Carcharodontosaurids. They would tear the flesh from the bones and leave the bones behind. Giganotosaurus would use its teeth to slash the flesh of prey, aiming for the legs and underbelly. Prey would weaken through blood loss or infection. It targeted the leg muscles to try and sever a tendon, cutting the muscle free from the bone. 
This would cripple a large titanosaur so that it had absolutely no chance of escape. I want to talk about the paintwork. Look at all that magnificent detail there. And I love those jaws. Dinocaris lived during the late Cretaceous period. It is a genus of large ornithomimosaur, which is a type of ostrich dinosaur. Its arms were nearly eight feet long with large blunt claws on its three fingered hands. The legs were relatively short and bore blunt claws. Dinocaris is thought to have been an omnivore. Its skull shape indicates a diet of plants although fish scales and bones were found amongst gastroliths in a specimen stomach. The large claws may have been used for digging and gathering plants and possibly defence. You can see that the mouth is a toothless beak with a large tongue which would have helped Dinocaris forage for food on the bottom of shallow lakes and rivers. Such beautiful colours too. I really like the red underneath its neck. Velociraptor, a three and a half inch or nine centimeter long sickle-like retractable claw was on the inner toe of each foot. This claw was its main weapon and could probably kill most of its prey easily by slashing and tearing it apart. And you can see this model has a bit of a feathered look to it. Check out that jaw. So we're getting a really nice close up here of the hands and the claws. And you can see the feathers underneath the arms there. And of course the lovely fan shaped tail on the end. And let's flip it over. Great detail. Tyrannosaurus or T-Rex. Fossil evidence shows that Tyrannosaurus was about 40 feet or 12 meters long and about 13 feet or 4 meters at the hips. Its strong thighs and long powerful tail helped it move quickly and its massive 5 foot long or 1.5 meter long skull could bore into prey. I'm just looking at the legs here. They're quite thin for a Tyrannosaurus. T-Rex's serrated conical teeth were most likely used to pierce and grip flesh, which is then ripped away with its brawny neck muscles. Its two-fingered forearms could probably seize prey, but they were too short to reach its mouth. You can notice the skull ridges there, and all those sharp teeth. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more fun videos. See you again soon. Don't forget to count the Velociraptors and stay on for the fun ending. videos click the picture please subscribe share and like thank you